Here's a quick overview of how our customers can make use of our new mobile target lead capture system. Uh, they can start by going to their uh, My Tours page in the new customer area and they'll go down and select a tour that they would like to add mobile target lead capture for. Uh, so I'll select this one and then they can scroll down to the marketing section and there's a new mobile target lead capture option. So they'll click that. If it's their first time using mobile target on one of their tours, they'll see an introductory page that gives them an overview of the different types of lead capture that we offer uh, with details of each. They can even give it a try using uh, the demo codes that we have. Uh, talks about print side riders, things like that. Um, if they want to proceed, then they can just click the get started up at the top. And that takes them to the mobile target sign up page. Uh, again, if they've already added mobile target lead capture to one of their tours, uh, they'll go straight to the sign up for the next one. They don't need to see the introduction every time. On the sign up page, uh, they need to select what type of lead capture they would like. So their options are the text code, which is for text messaging, the voice code, which is for the 24 hour recorded voice message, or they can do a bundle that has both. Each different type uh, also has uh, a set of sign options that go with it. So you'll notice as I select a different type of lead capture, there are different sign options. For now, I'm going to select the bundle, uh, and then I'll continue by clicking Buy Now. Next thing they'll see is a confirmation that just confirms the th things that they have selected. I didn't select a sign this time, but uh, when they're ready, if everything looks good, they'll click Check Out. This takes them into the Visual Tour Store, and they can just continue as normal. I'll go ahead and fill in some of this information here, and then I'll click Continue. They'll need to enter in this billing information, even though during our trial period uh, all the prices are zero. Uh, that's just the way it's going to have to work through the store. But I'll click Continue to complete my order. And here you see the order confirmation page. Um, this same information will be sent in, uh, to them via email, our normal store confirmation email. I'm going to scroll down in particular and look at the bottom here where it has the mobile target lead capture information. This information here is what they would put on the sign rider. Uh, so the top one is the 800 number and the voice code, and the next one is the uh, the text code and our short code that they send it to. So uh, until we get the signs working, then this is what they would have to send to their printer to go on a sign rider. So I'm going to click continue here and this takes me back to the tour dashboard. You'll notice when I go back to the tour back dashboard, this link now says mobile target leads instead of mobile target lead capture because it knows that it's already been enabled for this tour. Um, since this tour won't have any leads yet, I'm going to go to a different tour to show you what that page would look like. So I will go to this one up here, scroll down here, click on mobile target leads. So this is, uh, you know, the main demo code that we have set up. Uh, it shows the type of lead capture that this tour has enabled, uh, what the codes are, um, it also then shows the leads that they have. And this particular one has 19 leads, and it tells me the date and time a lead came in, what type it was, whether it was a voice lead or a text lead, uh, the phone number it came from, and then I also have an option over here to add a meaningful name to that number. Uh, if I, you know, once I contact the person, uh, I might, you know, know who it is, and then I want want to know when they ask for more information in the future. I guess so. I could click Enter here and I could put uh, uh, John Doe and I'll click Save and it's John Doe. That's the only information that we're recording now. We could obviously expand those fields in the future if we want to. Um, I'm going to show, so this is all of their leads and then every time a lead comes in uh, they're also notified via text me or via uh, email right now and uh, we'll also have a way in after the first of the year where they can also get those notifications via their 
uh, the Visual Tour mobile agent mobile app that runs on iOS and Android. Let's look up here at the options they have uh, for mobile target leads. So this again shows uh, what the codes are, um, tells what type they have, uh, how they would like to be notified, and the email defaults to checked on, and the mobile op is optional now because we don't have it working yet. But um, you also see, since I, since I have a voice code uh, that I purchased also here, it allows me here to uh, change the voice that I want to use for that and to preview what it sounds like. And I can also change the text if I want to, uh, you know, what it's going to say when someone calls the 24-hour hotline. So I'll go ahead and just click Save here. I'm not going to make any changes there. Uh, there's also an add-ins option, uh, add-ons option. And that's if they, let's say they, you know, they forgot to order a sign or they want another sign. Um, they can click here and, uh, you know, get various signs. Uh, the other thing is, let's say they bought uh, a, uh, let's say they bought a text code and they decide after the fact they want to add a voice code or vice versa, versa that, so they can do that uh, as well. It's not just cast in stone once they do the initial setup. So. That's the, uh, you know, that's the basic overview of how this will work for a customer, and uh, that's it.